welcome back to Roll the Damn Dice, real-time role-play game at a table. Um, we <laughs> are, I missed out a T, I, I needed to include it. Anyway, um, we are still sponsored by Critic UK, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. Um, Scratch that. You had a message from Yeah. <laughs> um, so, if you would like to buy some of their wondrous stuff, Use the code RTDD10 and you will receive 10% off your purchases. Um, we don't need to go around, uh, you know who we all are. Well, should we quickly? No. 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 Okay. Um, <laughs> we just left off um, for people who are listening um, from our previ uh, previous half of the session. Uh, we were in the cottage. There was a creepy... Uh, what was it? Weighty shadow. There was a weighty shadow. Evil custard. Evil custard. Scary custard. Evil yeah. custard. Um, and kept stacking us, but we fucking killed it. You'll know when there's an evil custard, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we did some serious damage. Serious oh, yeah. damage. Well, that is what the, the, the YouTubers call it, though, isn't it? Uber, Uberlek. 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 Creepy custard. They put in a swimming pool. Mm. Mm. I've no idea what's happening. Yep. But. Oh, my God. Thanks, man. We <laughs> You've seen YouTube, though, right? Yeah, I've seen YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we killed, we oh, killed wow. the custard. Um, we uh, Frain became very frail. Lily managed to get the the branch that was a branch that was a statue that became an arm. She now has an arm. She's still very frail. Um, we went into the woods, uh, met a lion that turned out to be an elf. Called uh, something brambles. called brambles. Taken by brambles. Taken by brambles. Uh, very Scottish um, and oh, that, Scottish. little bit Scottish. I can't do an accent, uh, so I won't. And a little bit savagery between Frain and and he. And now we are now. T oh, Lahan noticed that he's got facially features that are intriguing to him that are m matching up with some of his. Elven. We're learning about Fumerian elves. Yes, Fumerian elves are exciting. This is a very succinct term. I know! <laughs> <laughs> We're we are all now tiny in a tiny little tavern being carried by a red nap and go. And it's called the Nightcap. Oh! oh. Yes, 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 yes. Say it last time. <sighs> well, welcome back. <laughs> Like I think she did a brilliant job. I think everyone else yeah. is interrupting her. Yeah. Story. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, Sass. so um, we last left off uh, during some period of a long rest. Um, now, many stepper. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, Mr. Movement. You wanted to get out of there, didn't you? Uh, uh, four hours on the Ideally, dock. Ideally, well, yeah, yeah, because um, I wanted to go and interrogate Brambles whilst we walk and talk towards the shiny encased thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Might be Torrin. You might might be, be Torrin. Torrin. Remember Something last time shiny. when you thought it was Torrin and that thing wasn't Torrin? Don't mess with my trust. I tell you what, guys, if it's not Torrin, I really could have used the gate last time. <laughs> <That's more effective. laughs> Anyway, I mean, people turn on the stream just to look at my face. I know. <laughs> Your presence was felt. <laughs> we had I so many quips. I enjoy having you back next to me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, we done. Is everyone just on? It's not Torin. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, sorry. Okay. So, uh, yes, you wake up from your meditation. Yeah, so he didn't need to. He didn't really need a long rest. He just needed enough time to um, reset his key um, and just gain a few hit points back. But um, yeah, he's uh, probably spent some time trying to practice Frain not to interrupt her because he remembers how grumpy his dad would get if he would interrupt a meditation. And it's it's, it's a deep state anyway, so you can't really interrupt. But he's kind of just there, like going, "Don't think I'm getting it. <laughs> Don't think." If he got any point, oh, she can't say anything. Okay, maybe if I just like. He tries to copy her face, like... <laughs> You'll occasionally, um, uh, she won't say anything, but occasionally she will flip you the bird. Uh, <laughs> Just, uh, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, now, never mind. Right. Oh, Brambles will know. <laughs> and then he just goes running out the door. 
Excellent. So as you step to the door uh, and open out, you begin to just... <laughs> uh, and just become um, fully sized. <gasps> that is some awesome magic. And um, you see that um, the one taken by Brambles is in lion form, um, just pod- plodding along next to um, the nightcap. Um, mm. Right, so... In absolute silence. <laughs> 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 Can I just ask, right? Where do I get the feeling you're gonna ask anyway? <laughs> is the lion thing like a druid thing? Like, is is that is that what that is? What you mean, like little one in there? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, I mean, uh, no. So she can probably do it, but not. She could take on the form of an animal, but that's that's something different. Um, to be honest, she probably had a bad teacher. <laughs> it's a shady elf, but I like it. <laughs> so, surprise. You mentioned, like, I, I, as I said, I don't know many elves. I haven't seen many elves. I've certainly not seen any like me other than my dad. Oh, and this dickhead called Krennis. I got a proper good look at him when, like, this big evil custard thing impersonated him. And he was weird looking. He was like, like, a bit of you and a bit of Frain and a bit of me and a bit of Harkness and a bit of all the elves that have ever lived. Oh, sorry. Did you say Krennis? Yeah, Krennis Darkside. Right fucking prick. Mm. Okay. Do you know him? Um, and the lion just kind of plods along. Hmm. I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what what's the big difference then between Fremeria and Corella? I mean, how long do you have? Oh, quick version, Gogo go save a dragonborn, innit? No, I'll do it. I mean, you'd probably want to talk to he who wandered longest when we get to Ferris Moon. He who walked the longest? Wandered. Wandered? Aye, which isn't very long, to be honest. Uh, we don't have that long of a lifespan. Oh, yeah, you said something about a curse, didn't you? Aye, yeah. So, like, is it, is, what, what, what curse? Well, I don't really think I'm the one who should be telling you this, to be honest. Yeah, I've answered to my dad in, like, 20 years. He's a bit rubbish. Mm. So, there was a Femiran elf a long time ago called Rinleth, and she betrayed her people. We were at war with the Florentians. She left, and in doing so, placed a great curse on us, trapping our magic and shortening our lives. She killed thousands in the process. Whoa, 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 you, you, whoa, whoa, words, words, right. Winrith, uh, is that familiar? Hmm. Um, Florencia. Hey. F- Firebird Florencia. <coughs> fuck about Bird Florencia. Fuck, fuck, fuck. The, 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 bird, Bird Florencia. Um, f- flames. Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, hey, your memory's not too bad. No, no, it's not me. It's my dad was part of them. Your dad was part of them? Yeah, yeah. Like, he, 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 he was... Um, recruited. Um, there was a couple of other elves, I think. Uh, there, there, there was. Um, there was a really like. A, uh, what? This journey's long enough without you trying to shape. No, not honestly, <laughs> right? You know, Florencia has not been around for like a thousand years. Yeah, ago. my dad made some sort of deal with a warlock. He, he, he can't die. He, he doesn't need to eat. Doesn't need to sleep. Um, he's thousand. He's thousand years old. Thousands, like maybe like. Yeah, he, he was definitely around when there was other elves and. Winrith, that sounds familiar, I think. And he talked a lot about it, but it was ages ago. Um, Harkness. Can you make a persuasion check? Please? Persuasion? Yeah. Ooh. Whew! So, 19, but it's minus 1, so 18. Oh, do I have to do that advantage? I, sorry, 5. 5. <laughs> <laughs> um. I thought I was being so good at my yeah, role play. Yeah. I thought I deserved advantage <laughs> and gave yeah. it to myself. Uh, my favourite thing about D and D is just the players just doing what they want. But now yeah. you've rolled at disadvantage, so you should just roll. Oh, again. I should just straight. Mm. Yeah, right. right. 
16. <laughs> 18 well, to Paul, Thank you, Paul. Thanks. Um, so, uh, he's sizing you up. Um, the name Harkness, like, struck a chord, but, like, it just, it just doesn't believe you. Um, like, I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, my dad, Arkness, um, he lives in the Northern Isles. It's a bit of creepy monster stuff going on there. He, 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 he's kept alive by a deal he's got with some sort of underworld deity, uh, meta, meta, meta scoff, meta sc- uh, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, he, he was part of a team. He, he, he would tell us about it. Right. There was uh, a dragonborn, uh, liked to cook, wasn't very good with a dagger. Um, there, oh, yeah. um, there were some other elves as well. Um, Bloodline's sister? I'm sure you've read a lot of stories and this is all great, but... Oh, I can barely read. Look. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me, to be honest? <laughs> <laughs> Bit of elvish now and then, but that's about it. A lot of us have tried a whole host of different ways to get rid of the curse. I just find it very hard to believe that someone did. Yeah, but if he's living dead, then would the curse affect in the same way? <sighs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> <sighs> like I said, I'm not the one you should be speaking to. Right. Well, let's 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 get a wandering um, to the one that wandered a long time. Uh, a lot. He who wandered longer. <laughs> How is this hard for you? <laughs> Well, it's like sometimes, like the information, like I, I remember, like key things, but then the detail, I really struggle with that. But you remember some people from a thousand years ago. Yeah, not well though. When I wasn't there, like I just, I guess like my dad saying it struck a chord. Like we wouldn't spend much time talking to each other, so when he did talk to me, oh, it kind of, oh. kind of stuck with me. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> No one would bear children if they knew they were going to die, right? Wait, does this mean my my brother as well? I don't know. You're a family! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, the one that wandered longest. He. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is anyone getting Shrek and Donkey Bites? <laughs> 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 oh, we should have just oh <laughs> Right. So, as the remainder of the four hours, which, I mean, may have just been our conversation. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Continue. Um, you notice that as things are creeping, um, they just don't seem to be affecting the lion form. Um, and Nightcap is following very closely behind, um, almost like step for step. And eventually the, the, the woods grow much deeper, thicker, and greener and lusher. Uh, qu- quite a lot taller, like talking 50, 60 foot up, like way taller trees, sort of, you know, the red oaks. The and after a while, you begin to feel more eyes on you, more creatures. Um, similarly, and you come to a stop. There's nothing in front of you but a tree, trunks, and this little path. This seems to be trodden by footsteps, just repeatedly. But as you look up, this whole village in the boughs of the trees, thick vines running between each, um, creating a network of, seem to be houses sort of made from the trees, not attached to, but like in the giant trunks, you see little windows and little doors, um, deep, heavy vines seem to be descending down for ways to access up, um, but it seems like the whole woods is accommodated in this area. Um, you have arrived at Ferris Moon. Oh. It's amazing. Like, do you want to get your friends so I don't have to. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, all right, all right. Good. Um, and he just goes <laughs> up to the little hut 
on the end of Walker's tick. Wake up, will ya? I don't know how loud his voice would have been to your tying ears. Very. Oh. Very. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Lily will have been, I keep calling her Winnie. Lily will have been like curled up in a, well. It's moss. The yeah. whole room is entirely made of moss. Just much. curled oh, wow. up. Will have buried herself in moss. And will <laughs> Jerk away. Like, that was not nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess we're here and she's gonna get up. <laughs> just moss still, just like velcroed to her. Um, and we'll walk down to find Frayn. Uh, Frayn, who has her feet up on a table and is playing her lute with her new fingers and is very pleased with it. Because <laughs> uh, obviously she only needs to meditate for four hours, so yeah. for the rest of the time she's just been playing some music. It's almost better than before. Of course it is. Feels, wow. feels good, man. Oh yeah, have you never you never played with the, like, it's the difference between playing with your fingers and with the plectrum, it's like a, like a but you can do the fingering at the same time, it's probably. <laughs> the last time Jeremy had a wooden yeah. arm. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, I don't share this experience. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, Big. Big's I just know. finished. He's probably just putting down some foods and bits and pieces on the table um, to fray. He's been up a while. Um, I mean, as if it's time to go, as I think we all heard Lahan. If any of you look out the window, it's just giant red eyes <laughs> staring at you. <laughs> I think it was his air. We could, I mean, I made it to go, so <laughs> we can just pocket can it. Can we take that out? Can we take the, the stew out with us? Will it get big again? I'm going to try. Well, not again, but will it get big? I mean, yeah, he's got like, it's a bowl of, where's their ingredients in the kit? Like anything you need. So, yeah. I mean, just, just like, it's like a, a very thick, like oatmeal-y porridge type thing he's made oh, for the morning. Nice. So with a sweet oh. bread as well. Okay. So he'll... He'll make his way to, the, like, clutching them, he'll make his way to the door. Probably, like, just before he steps out, just eat a mouthful and then step out. Um, and as you do, you step out into the... Um, and just instantly this big appears Boom. before you. <laughs> uh, like, face all pressed into his stomach. Um, and your hand is full of leaves and berries and twigs. Hmm. Well, I'd be put in the back anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we go, Ed? It was lovely, isn't there? Oh, yeah, I, I was talking to uh, Brambles about elf shit. Can you step out the bloody way, please? You want to oh, get out of the Oh, <laughs> Yeah, he'll make his way. Like, he'll stand <laughs> way, way back. Thank you. Uh, and out will um, pop a little frame. Oh. Looking much more refreshed. Mm -hmm. I've learned so much stuff. Right. Just don't know if I can keep it inside. You can try though, right? Nah, nah. Does anyone have any gaffer tape? <laughs> <laughs> Lily's gonna um, jump out the door. Um. So a thousand years ago, there was this elf named Winrith, and she you was. I what. <sighs> Sorry, did you did say Winrith? Don't want to hear my story now, do you? <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I... I think I've got to learn to know when to keep quiet sometimes. Can we walk and talk? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, Biggs just stood there looking up like mouth agape. Uh, just an absolute awe. pleasure bringing you all here. Uh, my job's done. Uh, pleasure meeting. Hey, Tencent. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, taken by Brambles. You're welcome, Loctacus Fane. <laughs> Weird name. You're stuck up. Hey, <laughs> listen, right? Him and all elves like him are cursed. Oh, is that me though? So yeah, give him some slack. Come some slack. It's, it's been our time. Yeah, win with. She would betray all like the Florentian elves and shit and cursed a bunch of them. Sorry for Marion. Lily's gonna be like, but no, because Rinrith, she was the arch druid. She was really, she was really good, wasn't she? Not according to. Taken by brambles, uh, apparently some elves still live long, like the Quellum ones it would seem, but... You mean the good ones? 
I don't feel that's appropriate. Mind flashes back to the um, elf mm. in the spooky woods. Yeah. Mm. Um, and you've actually heard those words before. Yeah, because the because that he he said that the, she betrayed Rinworth betrayed, but he didn't say who he who she betrayed. My elves. He betrayed my elves. Your elves. My elves. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> like, my dad. Um, but he lives forever because, like, he's cursed. Um, um, but, like, I don't, like, Fumerian elves, I don't, like, I don't know any elves. Uh, do you guys know any elves? Uh, big. Mm. Um, you didn't put any of those, like, purpley mushrooms in the stew with, with like, the, the blue bits on. No, I'll be... I'll be to use... There was only the things that was in the kitchen, which oh, was all the okay. meats, and I'll be wanting... Okay, I, I just wanted to check because he sounds like he's off his face. No, I mean he means good, and he does. He's kept me alive, and but he I, does talk a lot sometimes. But it's all <laughs> good. It's uh, for reasons. Rin Reth is, is she? She's she, like a, a she's a, a good druid. She she yeah, made she, Lily the arch druid in training. She's before she died. But then why did she curse the elves like me? Well, she might not um, have done. Don't trust an elf. Yeah, though. she might. It, and if she did, it might have been for a good reason. I don't know if I... Oh. And Lily is going to be in existential <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've done now. you put her into existential crisis. No, I mean, that's just daily, in it? Uh, right. Okay, you know what? No. We're gonna... Okay. Hmm. We're gonna compart- compartmentalise that for the moment. We've got to go find out if the shiny thing is Torin, and and then we've got to get you to be properly alive in the corporeal plane. Um, yeah. So how do we get from here to the Corellan bit? Isn't Torin here though? We'll oh, Torin was here. Was here. I was yeah. discombobulated by um, abrupt truths facing me. But there's an elf here that can also help with this whole mystery right. called the one that went on a walk in a long time. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> we really do have weird names in this part of the world. Right, in it. I think Lahan is really too much time with Rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, can, can Lily is going to try and look for Torin. Can she see? Can we investigation? <laughs> Suspended from the trees. <laughs> no, that's a two. Um, five. <laughs> um, you cannot see a golden dragonborn uh, anywhere in this woods. Okay. Um, can I see any other elves? But you do see. So there's. Actually, a bit more activity and life than you thought. Mm-hmm. Um, there are several, there will look to be elves at all, uh, but they ha- have almost armor made of bones and leather, and they wear like almost like deer skull and different like animal bone um, like helmets. Um, and as you're like taking it in, you just hear a Ooh. next to you uh, as this tawny owl is sat on a branch. Just it, it's sort of bouncing slightly. Ooh, um, hi. hi. Ooh, hi. Hello, darling. Oh, that's nice. Hello. Um, hi, we're looking for um, uh, uh, Torin. He is a large golden dragonborn. Okay. Have you seen one? Uh, no. There's, I mean, Look, I think, if you like. Well, stop. No, we were just told by, um, taken by Brambles that oh, there was. Brambles. Yeah. yeah exactly. He helped us get here. Um, and she sort of like steps off the branch, and she is this tall, slender thing with like her. Her dress itself is like made of meadow, like it is wildflower and um, long grasses. Um, but everything about her is like almost like starlight. Her hair, her eyes. Oh. Um, you're amazing. Oh, what's You're your so name? I'm the lady dressed in the meadow gown. Well, that's very accurate. You are the lady well, dressed in the meadow gown. You should be able to hear Frayne's eyes rolling. <laughs> 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 well, when you can't have names, you kind of just told what you are by how people identify you. You can't have names. Well, you know. What's that about? Oh, you have to be given a name. Names have power. My true name is Lord Toei. Oh. 
And j try not to answer this one's questions. It's very distracting. Lily, carry on. So, yes, we're trying to find um, a very large dragonborn. We were told that there was something sh large and shiny oh, here. That large and shiny? Yeah. Hey, there's a lot of crystal at top. No, no, this no, 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 is no, no, specific. specific shiny. What shinies end up there, though, darling? Um, what about... Um, he might have been um, not named, uh, given um, annoying but sort of sexy and shiny. He might have been given the name annoying but sexy and shiny. No, that how do you miss a bell? Uh, it's very loud. Oh no, that's not him then. Oh no. Oh, no, not I if he's not shiny, is sir. Not if he's not unless he's unconscious, and then he wouldn't be loud at all. Yeah. We definitely just had a new star fall. A new star fall? Me. Do you get stars falling often? Do you not? She's not from round here. Do you? Well, I mean, not anymore. <laughs> Where did it fall? Up top with the shinies, you silly. Well, how do we get there? <laughs> she sort of like <laughs> gestures around. Her arm hasn't like fully turned formed from a wing. Like as she lifts it up, there are still feathers underneath. Hmm. Dingus. <laughs> the hand's not climbing. <laughs> <laughs> but I did come over because I heard that word archduid, darling. Are you an archduid? Oh, in training, not just, ju not fully arched yet. Hey, well, maybe you can come by mine and we'll have a cup of tea. I'm a druid as well. Oh, that makes total sense. The one that's dressed in a meadow gown. I forgot no, your name. Dressed. I'm really sorry. sorry. And what was your name, darling? No. I, I'm not giving it to no, you, no, I'm afraid. No, no. What's what your name? I'm not asking for your name. Mm. I tell you what, I tell you what. May I have a pebble? A pebble? A pebble. She's going to dig in her pockets and see if she can get, she, if she's got a pebble spare. Um, Lahan's going to try and slyly um, sort of whisper to Frain at this point and just go like, um, if the lady here is one of the ones that are cursed by win with and that happened should we let Lily go off with her because maybe they're going to take revenge on the new archdruid it's all right she's not going out on the site mate um oh uh, here you go and she takes the pebble and she gives you a feather oh gifts given no what was your name oh you should be all right now love cool she's gonna shove it in the front pocket of her dungarees Cool. Hi, my name's Lily Lixer Clam for Fuck Morning. Hey, that's a mouthful. Yeah. How does anybody remember that? You don't look like a Lily Lixer Clam for Fuck Morning. If I were to give you a name, it'd be small and muddy. <laughs> <laughs> or the one with the long braids, perhaps. Oh, that's good too. I'll save that one for later. <laughs> well, I mean, you can call me Lily for short. Lily. Cool. Well, this is all very nice, yes. uh, lady with the flower blouse. <laughs> <laughs> but we should probably go and, ch yes. you know, check on Tori. Yeah, 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 yeah. no. Um, I was, yeah. Um, uh, uh, maybe we'll d we'll talk about druidy things later. I think we've got more urgent things to deal with. Um, how is there a quicker way to get to the top? Can you fly? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Well. You're great then, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I am, thank you. And she's going to wild shape into an owl. Oh. I mean, it's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and she um, just steps back into it. And you know, it's, it's not the same. Like, you sort of take on the form of, she just becomes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, Frayne is going to give um, Flower Blouse the side eye <laughs> while, like, all the while swinging her loot round, strums it and casts Fly. And just, and as, she, <laughs> <laughs> as she goes up, just does the two finger eye. <laughs> the lady with the bad attitude is. <laughs> wow, elf conflict. <laughs> um, oh, you need to fly, yeah. darling. That's great. I'm so proud of you. So far. <laughs> I can't fly under any circumstances. No, and r with this Biggs like grabbing hold of one of the vines and pulling it to see if it creaks, I don't know if it's going to take my weight. That's fine. 
Side quest. Okay. Well, you go under me and catch me if I fall. No, no, no. We're gonna walk. We're gonna walk. And then the hand just grabs Rog by the arm and pulls him off. It's like we're coming to a close. Uh, (laughs) Is there steps? There's not steps now. Come on, me. Side quest. I mean. They'll be fine. The last time we've been doing a side quest, we robbed a, the. Mm-hmm. You led me to rob him. Yeah, and we didn't rob anything, and you nearly died. Yeah. No, it's not that kind of side quest this time. I promise. This isn't going to make us rich. This won't. This isn't a retirement thing. I promise. Okay. Well, I'll be trusting you again then. And then we're <laughs> going. And yeah, then um, the Han's looking for the one who wandered longest. <laughs> Nearly! <laughs> so nearly there! <laughs> I could just take notes. Oh, I will yeah. keep this up. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, my darlings, you guys have got the accent for the wee little buddy. Uh, let's carry on. Um, so, as you ascend upwards, uh, following gonna the around frame as she's lady to rest in them. Um, uh, so, the lady is just chatting to you in, as an owl. Um, just. Lily's gonna hoot. Yeah. Like, who? Like, questioningly, <laughs> like, you can you can talk whilst being in animal form? Um, there's so much you don't know yet. Sad owl noises. So, where did you come from? I know where you came from. Actually, you can't speak right now, can you? Oh. That's really sad, darling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look. Oh. <laughs> Trying to make through the canopy, and, and and as you look, you see that actually quite a bit of light is coming from here, but it seems like um, diffused. There's like a bunch of green fireflies in the in the lower canopies that cause cause some light down, but this seems to be almost like an artificial sun type deal. Um, it's currently not like very bright, but there is like a, a array of of golden um, light. Descending down through the canopies, breaking down through the branches, um, fluttering down to the uh, end of the floor below. And as you burst through, you see there's this humongous amber just wrapped up in tree roots. Amber wrapped in tree roots? Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh! Um, oh, that's nice. Is that like um, like the portal amber, like 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 the stuff I've got? Is that, well, no. I, this is where the first star fell. Oh. I mean, really, that's very interesting. <laughs> not around the others. You can be excited about it. I won't tell anyone. I promise. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to the first star? Hey, well, uh, she. <laughs> 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 We were wandering the wilds for a long time. None of us could make uh, different shapes. No, we were getting lost, we were getting trapped. Many of us were dying and starving after your people kicked us. Sorry. Um, wait, wait. They're not my people. Right, well, the Colonel Elves kicked us out um, after, you know, stuff happened. Um, and the first star fell um, as a sign for us to, to, to make a home and to start harnessing our powers and being who we were meant to be as ourselves. Um, but look at me gushing about the first star. You've got me all worked up now, darling. <laughs> so, your shiny friend, I, there's a wee little purple star that fell not two nights ago. I wonder if maybe it's that. If Bramble was sent to you, that's very... Bramble's not been seen for many weeks now. He's been off on a special sort of... Quest thing. Are you sure it's not just that he's a bit of a loner? Well, you know, he he has more dealings with Karel than most of us. He still kind of worships, to be honest. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, well, that's you know, that's, that's, that's <laughs> some, something in his something in his uh, you know, in his favour. Is there something about elves like you know, con- being born again? Oh, Codswallop. Anyway, uh, she starts uh, flying around to. Um, just off of the, the, the first star, um, this like really thick growth of roots 
um, and most of them are in varying different colours, shades of gem. Um, so you see like rubies and, um, um, and emeralds, but there's this very sort of strong amethyst there. Um, it is maybe about seven foot tall, and within, you see, dragonborn. <laughs> is it my dragon ball? Can I play it? I think anyone's your, you know, like. <laughs> 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 what kind of shit shoots ownership of a dragon ball? Oh, trust me. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not 20 kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Not 20 <laughs> kiss constitutes ownership. Um, uh, yeah, Frayne is going to do a good old investigate to see if it's Torin. You don't need to. It is. Definitely I Torrin. Know, <gasps> um, and she is going to forget herself for a little bit and be super excited <laughs> that it is Torrin, really Lily glad, will be really like relieved. <laughs> really relieved and then kind of like realise like who she, like where she is, who she who she's with. Like, oh uh, um yep. Oh, oh that's good. Um I'm just gonna tap on the edge like like hello <laughs> um, um. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think she said hello. My apple's not great, funnily enough. <laughs> um, so, is there is there a place for like Lily to there land are roofs and that stuff? You can sort of, like, okay. it, it, it's this whole like network of roofs that are con- containing this this big cool. amber, uh, and like it's sort of encased in, you know, it's basically a null root network. So there's a bit of amber, a bit of amethyst inside it with roots sort of grasping and. Yeah, you can you can land on a roof is probably what cool. an easy way of <laughs> saying that. <laughs> right. Um, Lily's gonna land on a roof and <sighs> while she back. Know, that's a really good idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> while she back into her form as close to yeah. Torrin as possible. You are very high up, by the way. You are like yep. eighty to a hundred feet up. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so, sorry, as um brain approaches you have been having this long dream T- uh, tumultuous waters and like the face of uh, Goresh the shark man that took many lives of dragonborns that you saw um, and you sort of felt like you were out of Bahamut's light for a long time and as Frain approaches, you feel this like wash, this 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 colourful glow over you. And stepping out from that light is this tall stag. Um not physical, just an outline, just like a shape. Um and you hear a voice sort of resonate around your head. It says Paladin. The light of Bahamut will not reach you here. I I do apologize. But whilst you're in my woods, you have the best interests of the Princess Frame. Perhaps you'll consider being my champion. That's mine. Oh, hello. (laughs) (laughs) That was creepy. It's been a long time since I had one. What's he? Um. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Um. Uh, where am I? You're in Crumb's wood. My wood. Oh. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, are you Corellan? I am. How oh, very well. This is. I mean, I've never met a god before. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. My name's Lord Torinda. I suppose I should kneel. I'm going to kneel. <laughs> there is no need. I, no, I think I should. Right, if you feel you must. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll kneel with his, um, with the, uh, has he got Lender's gavel? He does, yes. Okay, so he's going to kneel with it in front of him. Um, okay, so you want me to be your champion? Mm. Just... For the time being. Just in the Feywild. Mm, would I be breaking an oath? I mean, I'd still... Su- I mean, 
You'd be number two. Mm. I can deal with that. Okay. So How still... About? We are both working to keep Lady Freya safe. Oh, well, I can, I can get on board with that. Why did she need to be kept safe? This is Corellan's wood. It's all magical and elfy. It is. However, there is a darkness here that I'm struggling with. Uh, you're struggling with? Yes. You're a god. Well, gods have limits, Torin. Well, it's not much. Okay. Well, if you say so, I don't know about so much about... Even if I'm not... A, I'll be honest, the religious side of paladining, not my... Um, <laughs> more the bash sword hammer. Um, so, you're a god, but too weak to destroy the darkness. You need me to go destroy the darkness. Well, I have been containing the darkness for a millennia, Torrin. Oh, well done. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's growing beyond me. It corrupts. And moving Corellin's wood from the mortal planes, it took a lot out of me. You moved, you, so you brought the wood here. No, well, I actually took it away. I wanted to keep it from escaping. You've taken it from the Feywilds to somewhere else. I've taken the Feywilds from the Thousand Isles. God, oh, well, I mean, you've done very well on your own. <laughs> if I can help, I certainly will. Wonderful. I mean, I really, there's um, a fella with a shark head and pretty much sworn to killing him <laughs> um, and anyone who follows him. Are you still okay with that? If he crosses your path whilst you're in my embrace, then fine. And you'll help me kill the shark. I'll give you the power you need. Well, you've got a deal. <laughs> <coughs> but protecting Lady Frayne is our priority. Okay, I have the oath of ven. I've got a couple of oaths <laughs> going on. I've got an oath of vengeance. Primary, kill the shark. Number two, I've got to help Lily become the arch druid. Second oath. Third oath, protect Lady Frayne. Can we agree to that? No, but I don't want to make an oath to you, and then there's a conflict. This isn't an oath, you fool. Look into your heart. Oh, I'll protect Frayn, yes, yeah, certainly. And then... Just Locked it, because I don't know why I said Frayn, I'm just, so sorry. As the light disperses, do you see Frayn like, pressed against the glass? Against the amethyst? <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk in the amethyst? <laughs> yeah, you can give it a try. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> So you can't move. Okay. Yeah. Hello! I think... Lopticus, I'm in here! Yeah, I can see you, love. No oh, good. Um, uh, um, uh, Could you uh, get me out? Flowery dress lady. Uh, la um, lady who wears the meadow dress. Is that close? Dressed in a meadow dress? Meadow Dressed in a meadow. Dang. Sounds like you need me. I'm doing well, badly on names. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're not far off, darling. It's the lady dressed in the meadow gown. Ah, right. I missed out gown. Hello, lady dressed in the meadow gown. My name is Lord Torrindar. Shut up for a second. How do we get him out of there? I don't know how to take cracking it. He might be like an egg. Okay. <laughs> She's just going to like pull back the, uh, yep. the new arm and punch the amethyst. Roll the hit. Just for, just for an unarmed strike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, seven. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Good try. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe use a weapon. <laughs> it resounds. You just hear this like boom. Okay. Um, oh, I tell you what. Um, oh, a little bit worried about him on the inside there. Um, mm. You see... I've got this spell that I can do um, that is literally called Shatter. Yeah, I was thinking you might be doing that. Mm -hmm. I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's going to engage uh, the staff and just start... Like, <gasps> Lily! <laughs> Hi, Tori! Hello! Um, hang on a second. And she's going to cast Shalem. 
ukulele on her um, staff. <laughs> um, and then, like, right. Okay, before we do anything too dr drastic, let's try this. And she's gonna, like, thwack, thwack it with her staff. So, roll to hit. Yes. Yeah. Um, mm. So, oh, uh, uh, hang on, that's a 16 plus my spell casting. So that's a 20. Um, yes. Yeah. 20. Um, hit. So, as you're about to swap down with this Shillelagh, um, the amethyst itself shatters outwards. Ooh. Um, and you be like begin losing uh, balance, but the shards just start like <laughs> just like attaching themselves to Torin. Ooh. Ooh. Um, because he isn't wearing armor. He isn't wearing any like oh, of his Torin. stuff. But it's always long cloth. Yeah. <laughs> but he, this the amethyst itself starts to create this armor, um, and the central plate um, ha just has this. Stag's head carved out, coming up into the pelvis, and Lily, you begin to fall backwards. <laughs> no! <laughs> Can I try and like? I'd like to grab her. Flail myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Roll like. Uh, is it a dex? No, do you know what? You both grab her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty dexy. And Torin's right there. Lily! <laughs> and he's going to pick Lily up <laughs> and sort of spin her around, yeah. then give her a huge hug. Yeah. Lily! Torrin! And then he puts Lily down and he's going to say, Lock to curse! And he's going to grab her by both arms, pick her up, give her a big smooch, if she, <gasps> assuming she doesn't resist. Uh, she does oh my not goodness. resist, but like at first she'll be like stiff like a statue and then just kind of relax. <laughs> And then you, he, Lily, as you relax, you he puts you back down. Yeah. 100 foot in the air. <laughs> on the <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> on a root. I, I could go into a long description of the root system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I'm back. Lily will have just been like, oh, oh goodness. Okay, I met Corellan. You met Corellan? That needs my help. <laughs> Needs your help. Obviously, I've, I've got to kill some darkness. Well, you've got a very fancy new suit. So I've got to say, I like the colour. Gosh, yes, look at me. <laughs> look, I'm shiny. You always <laughs> were quite shiny. Much Tori. more shiny now. Oh, look at Lender's Gavel! Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so Lender's Gavel is now this. Um, from the roots, this huge, like, two handed axe. Um, but the blade itself is carved with crystal. And I'll send you. I both do. No. What? Thank you. Oh, I think I might call this Corellan's axe. Ooh. I think that's a, a very good name. But when, we, but when we when we leave, we mustn't tell. They might not be happy. <laughs> Lendis and Bahamut. Yeah. Right. They, yes, because they're not. I did. Know, I did tell Corellan that she's number two mm. behind my dragonborn pantheon. Oh, okay. I didn't mention the pantheon. Oh, have. did you meet? Did you meet Corellan as as a lady? As a stag. Oh. Okay. As a gentleman, I would. Judging by what was between Corellan's legs, I would say. A very masculine okay. stag. And on that note, the camera pans. Down. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we move over to um, Big Stepper. <laughs> and um, Daddy Issues. Daddy Issues. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the bad elves and the good elves, and some elves are cursed, and there's an elf here that can help with this stuff. Did you get any of that? No. Mm. But I'll do be, if it is, you may be accursed. Well, we would like to fix you. Yeah, like I could be cursed. Maybe like my brother's cursed. And I, yeah, I need, I need to go figure this out. So we are looking for the one who may be wandering till midnight. <laughs> well, it looks like it's a daytime at the minute. Oh, good point. Have you, is, there, <laughs> is there else walking around? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? But we didn't have Janaeus. It's become even. We've become more incompetent. <laughs> yeah. If it were yeah. yeah. I'm really wisdomous. Because um, they are all in like, uh, and you'd notice because you you craft with this quite a bit. Mm. Very fine armor made from bone and leather and bits, like mm. and hide. I might heal 
intend to ask someone, and then he'll get distracted by like the craftsmanship of this, like the bone and the leather work, and he just sort of like just follow people as they're walking by and it's sort of creeps down a bit. Every plate they have um, uses like uh, rib bone to give it flex, mm-hmm. so it moves almost perfectly with the contours of the body. Um, they use smaller bones to sort of give it the movement and the stronger bones to reinforce. There's like, it's really well made. Ah, oh, look at it. It's, I mean, he's <laughs> saying it out loud, pointing at people, like, but it's like, look at that, it's like in the mind, but. I'm really sorry, my friend just really likes your armor. To be fair, if I was an armor kind of guy, it's pretty nice, that's, that's the way I'll go with it. Well, thank you. I've been uh, never crafted anything like that, and he's sort of crouching right down at this point. He, he literally can't, he likes making this kind of stuff. Um, big fan, big fan. Mm-hmm. You can always chat with Frost on a thistle, uh, our artisan. Oh, oh, good, I've got some monies. I could buy it. You would do your bit for it. Ma, la, ma, la Han is looking for someone. Is yeah, a, a night person. The one who wandered longest. Ah, he who wandered longest. Yes, he who wandered longest. <laughs> I walk by the street. And just to stop Connor from having a break. <laughs> and just before we go, where is the frost on the thistle? So you can't actually miss it in the, in the upper burrows. Um, and then they point up to the like the second level. Mm-hmm. There is the cathedral. Mm-hmm. Uh, he who wanders longest can often be found there pondering and wandering. Um, and Frost and a Thistle is n- not far to be found. It has a. That works out really well. Yeah, yeah. I will come and see your thing first. Well, yeah, we'll just do them both at the same time. Yes. Makes sense. Thank you so much for your help. Um, of rain and sorrow. Can you not tell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, now you mention it. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't get one of these names. They're a bit long-winded. Can I give you some... And he sort of rummaged through his pockets again and just take out like a, a gold coin. But can I do... G- uh, well, I like a fan of people. It's an open, mate. And you don't have any of it well done, you. Oh. I mean, I, I would like to thank you, but... Um, ah, and he'll... <clears throat> Open up sort of his leather working pouch and where he keeps his clothes. He'll take a shard of bone from his home <coughs> mountain area. I can, uh, you can craft something quite fantastic with that, I'd think. It's a thank you for telling us where we need to go. Yeah, nice little shiv or something. Right, uh, okay. Um, I don't need nothing, you've told I, us where I, to go. I, 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 I swap and like, just intently stares at No. Oh, oh. And sort of begrudgingly gives this little like carved pipe over. It's like carved of bone. I mean, he'll like take it between two fingers so as not to break it, and then he'll um, he'll put it sort of he'll tuck it in one of the straps and mm-hmm. sort of make up his arm. So it's like uh, it's a smoking pipe, like a like a tobacco pipe, but it's mm. nearly entirely carved of bone. It seems to be this sort of like chi dragon style thing, just mm. descending from a point into like a mouth coming up its. Mm. Yeah, he'll tuck it next to his ladle that's on his on his belt strap. So, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, then Lahan will grab one again. Uh, um, yeah, big, big again, uh, and just be like, "Come on, okay, to the cathedral." To the cathedral. Are we gonna have to climb them vines? Like, I do not. I don't know if they would take my weight. Just climb two of them. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <well, yes. laughs> so he, he, he'll climb up after. Like he'll watch. He's strong, but he's not got technique. Yeah, the harm would use. Um, t- can you, I'm assuming there's trunks you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the vines aren't just hanging, free hanging. There are like, there are climbing vines and there are there are hanging vines there. But yeah, you can, you can make a pretty decent attempt at it from what is there currently you're climbing. Cool. Yeah. Work his way up to the cathedral. You're gonna have to give me an athletics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We have a. Uh, where are we? Okay. Uh, Twenty-two. Right. Okay. Okay. So you get one by and it goes. Mm. And you get another one. You're like. Anyway. Okay. 
and then you grab a couple more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just begin to sort of pulling yourself up. Uh, you actually attract a little bit of a crowd of elves <laughs> uh, in varying forms. There's a bat. Um, <laughs> there's a couple of shrews. Um, and about halfway up, you see a rabbit pop its head out of like this tiny little um, hole in the tree. Mm. Hey, not bad, not bad. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. You can do it, okay. you can do it. Oh, thank you. And it's <laughs> with the it renewed vigor, he'll try and like really go for it now, climbing his way up to the top. Wonderful. So as you reach the top, the, the cathedral itself may have been a slight overestimation. It is uh, a whole mass of roots uh, and branches coming out from many of the trees into the central point. It seems to have made this hanging platform. Hmm. Uh, and it bows slightly. Um, just under its own weight, just sort of bounces there. It doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere, but the whole thing is like many branches and roots coming off trees into the central suspended oh, platform. Amazing. I love this place. Um, yeah. And this seems to be where most of the uh, fireflies are congregating, giving it this like green glow. Oh. Mm. Oh my, are we allowed? I mean, you're probably allowed in there, but I don't know if I'm allowed. Yeah, it's fine, you and me. Like, these, these these, are my kind of elves. I'm sure it's fine. Sure it's fine. Okay. And Nahan just wanders into the cathedral. Yeah, he's going to... He's going to put his sword down, like, if there's up against the wall near the door, and then walk in. Yeah. Um, so as Rob steps on it, it does sort of go... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's big, sorry. Steps on it, sort of about slightly. Um, inside, it is very well decorated. It is, like... Again, carved from bone, and the wood itself seems to be warped into ways that it shouldn't usually. It's not been, it's not been crafted. It's not been um, whittled or carved. It just seems to have been told to do something. Mm -hmm. It started doing it, creating these sections, these pillars that rise up, uh, laced with these different animal bones. Um, but there are different corridors leading off. Um, you're sort of in the central foyer area. Huh. Is there anyone around? Um, give me an investigation. Da, da, da. Can I help him look? You can For an advantage. Mm -hmm. Do you need it? <laughs> Possibly. So it's 11. Um, 11. 11. So <laughs> 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 um, at first glance, no. <coughs> but then from um, from this like central area, the, like, this, the central most point before it starts, going off into these branches. Um, from out of the wood itself comes this tiny little louse. Oh, uh, yeah. And then as it lands, like sits on the table, um, sat there cross-legged, is the cell. It's like, hey. Hi. Um, yeah. My name's um, Lahan, uh, the one who is tattooed mostest. And <laughs> um, I'm here to look for the one who wandered longest. Yeah. He yeah. who wandered longest. He who won the longest. He who won the longest, yeah. Uh, okay, well, middle corridor, straight down. Be quiet. Ha, oh, yeah, no easy. worries. <laughs> I got the feeling he'd be alright with that. Yeah, 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 no worries. Um, so if I actually go down the middle corridor in this place, I'm actually going to go down the middle corridor. There's some stuff back in the woods. Never mind, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> 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 I'm one just down the middle corridor. Oh, and you? Like, I'm gonna bear follow him. Yeah, he's yeah. with me. Oh, I'll be quiet. Shh. Yeah. yeah. And I'll, be, I'll be thinking that the name's working, that I'm big. Yeah, yeah. These people will understand. Oh, Do I got to be call you the tattoo the most? Nah, nah, nah. It's just uh, trying to blend in, innit? Not cause suspicion. Innit? Right. Okay. <laughs> Lead on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so as you make your way down this corridor, it actually opens up into a small field. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but there's a full night sky above it. And standing there in the center is this rather, rather muscular actually, oh. elf. Um, like, head completely shaven and tattooed up from the back in various runes coming out. A rune tattooed elf. Um but like jacked, like oh. very they, they are entirely topless. Uh they just have like 
these long, almost like um, like harem pants style. Yeah, yeah like mm. billowy. Oh, okay. Um, but tied with a belt. Right. Um, and they just are standing there, throwing punches. Oh. Just obviously training. Okay. Somewhere or another. Um. Don't want to sneak up on you when you're doing your training stuff and was told to be kind of quiet and I'm not good at that. Um, but uh, are you, are you uh, he who wandered longest? That is me. Killer I mean, tattoos. You couldn't sneak up on me if you tried. Probably correct. I heard you coming a mile off. Uh, Sparrow's eyes not quiet either. Who? One on the desk. Ah. Oh. Also, you've got a giant guy with you. Yeah. <laughs> He's big. Yeah. He is big. Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Big. Big. Right, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was sent here by taken by Brambles. Um questions about elves. Um he mentioned uh, war a thousand years ago, um Marian <coughs> elves, Corellan elves, a curse, uh Winrif, um and I'm just trying to make sense of it all, because apparently I could be cursed. Hey. You could be. Ah. He turns to face you. <coughs> do you talk with your mouth or do you talk with your fists? Oh, bit of both. Well, let's have a very different conversation, shall we? Oh no! <laughs> back to the back of the room. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this seems more in that Oz will help. Yes. It is, yeah. it is actually. <laughs> right. um, so he stands about 15 feet away from you okay. and bows at you. Um, Lahan will bow as well in respect. Mm -hmm. yes. Wait. Do not move. That land a hit. Huh. Do I have. The, is my Yikawa with me? It is. But that wouldn't be. No. What he's asking. Mm. Fifteen like foot away. Bloody fry wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do not move, but land a hit. Seems impossible, right? I mean, yeah, like uh, <laughs> I could throw something at you, or uh, I've got some darts on me, but. Uh, on this side, go. What's your AC? Uh -huh. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, so. As you're having this conversation, he just like throws a punch and this like spectral cobra extends oh, 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 out oh, from oh, his fist yeah. and just cracks you around the face. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Ow. Ow. Uh, I, I can't, I, I, I don't have that uh, skill. Um, I, I, I can't do that. <clears throat> and you are very immature. Oh. Well, how long are you got? Like? That just seems mean. Um, like, you've got the name about wandering longest. Of course, you're like a lot older than me. Uh, I only looked at him, it doesn't seem to be much older than you. You don't have a long life, Lahan. <laughs> okay, so Lahan will try and focus. Um, and he spins round and Kind of obviously about moving out of the five foot cube, mm -hmm. attempts an uppercut. And you. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Yes. For the people who can only listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> just a fist bump to the air. I mean, I'm guessing Matt did not do a sound <laughs> effect. <Yeah. back, so laughs> okay. was really unenthusiastic about it. Your feet sort of come off the floor a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Whee! Right, we've got a lot to do. Okay, right. Can S you tell me where you're at? Can you, can you, do you know your true form yet? Uh, no, um, in fact, I'm, I'm only half elf. I don't know if you have those around here. They're quite common up there. You're half elf? Yeah. No, you're not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> your mother is nasty. <coughs> <laughs> 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 um, bit of both, bit of both, Stephen and Lahan. <laughs> right, um, so <laughs> the, the obvious confusion he 
realise that this is a lot for you, uh, and sort of gets down onto the floor, cross-legged, puts his hands on his lap. Hey, we've got a lot of work to do. Montage! Training montage! Tiny stepper, as you see this happening, what are you up to? I mean, if, if he looks like they're settling down for a bit, he's just gonna, like, he'll mumble to his I mean, I'm gonna go and see if I can find this other person. I'm gonna go see if I can find the the the, the frost on the fist. Or all right, I'll me, leave you to it. Back here, back here, yeah. Please don't kill him. Don't and kill me. He'll like quiet after shake, well, almost shaking that heel. Oh, and he'll get up and as quietly as he can tiptoe out of the room back into the main corridor. Don't die. I will try not to. Awesome. Um, he's just gonna look around. He doesn't know it. He'll make his way back down to the um, the desk where yeah. they met the first person, and um, I, w- I was told um, <laughs> the second is corridor on the <laughs> left, uh, just as far as I just laid back, reclining legs sort of up in the air. That was like, oh, pretty <sighs> fantastic. Yeah. Most things in this place, some few things not great. I mean, it's pretty. Uh, as he's walking <laughs> off, he says, "That's pretty handy, though. That'd be real good." And yeah, he'll make his way down to this room. Cool. Um, so the place in front of you seems to be uh, almost like a forge. Mm. There's a huge light source coming from it, but the actual room itself is very cold. Oh. So as he walks in, it will be that like, mm-hmm. oh, this is very nice. And in the center point of this room um, is a series of like crafting ability, uh, crafting implements. Mm-hmm. But the, the, the focal point, the thing that this seems to be built <coughs> around, is this uh, dissension of um, of roots around this amber. But within this amber is a flame, mm-hmm. and it doesn't seem to. No heat seems to be passing the amber itself. Okay, but. They are working with it. This 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 elf with burns to about here, so about halfway down their arm. Okay. Um, just sort of hitting away, malle- making the the burns malleable and, and working them, and, and almost singing things like it, it, it's it's almost ritualistic the way that they're creating this piece uh, of, of breastplate. Mm. So he'll watch for a while and try and find like a moment where they take a step back or like stop for a second and then he'll just sort of reach to the wall and just give like a knock because like, there was there any door to it was it just like open, open. Yeah. yeah so he'll just knock something the wall or the open door or something mm-hmm. um, but yeah he'll wait until they're like at a, a lull the sorts so the only time they actually have any lull is when the piece is finished okay so yeah he would have stayed and watched intent focus until that point uh, to the point where they didn't even realise you're there mm. um, oh, wow okay and then they hold up this piece, this wonderfully crafted bone, uh, half leather plate, mm. and just sort of turn to <coughs> look at you. I mean, I'm not really wanting to interrupt him, but um, we're accidentally here with some friends, and we're on something quite a big and fantastical. But what I saw your people wearing. And he sort of gestured to mm-hmm. this piece. And uh, I'm really keen on crafting and craftsmanship of this kind. And when my people, we do make it ourselves as well. And well, I'm in awe of this level of skill. And I would I'd like to just see how it is it's done. Um, and they look at you sort of enthusiastically. <coughs> uh, and it looks like they're about to speak. And they kind of compose themselves and begin instead signing mm. um, but almost oh, almost like it, it, the word the letters are played musically and you can hear them they, they are almost have like a resonance to them you can almost understand even though you don't understand the sign language itself they begin working out the sign language 
quite dexterously. Um, you definitely heard them sing. Yeah. But they just don't seem to want to speak. Okay. Okay. Well, I could. Would you mind if I did what? Um, and they walk up to you, take you by the hand, and lead you to the forge. Yeah. So he'll 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 walk towards the forge. He's not going to touch anything. But are, you, are you wearing armor that you've made as well? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he's got his sort of um, his leather with all the, the bone strapped into mm -hmm. it. Um, and yeah, he's obviously he's left his sword out. Um, yeah. But yeah, he's, he's got his, his own homebrew kit. So it begins immediately like just <clears throat> inspecting your like work and just holding up like just fingers just to sort of measure things out. Um, takes like this tiny little chisel and just like knocks a bit of the bone off and like measures. So it's yeah, he'll, he'll let him. Yeah. Uh, and then just like starts um, running a blade down the back, just creating like this space that we didn't have before. And it just starts mm. fitting better. Ah, oh, you would have to, to be showing me how you're doing it. Um, and again, just sort of takes you to the forge and begins taking your hand, almost like ghost, taking yeah. your hands oh. and just like <laughs> taking you through the motion, showing you how. Um, and as they begin, they do start to sing. It's this sort of deep guttural quite a melodic song mm -hmm. do not understand the words okay and is he still is he working as he's doing his work on his, his own piece he was doing no he's taking he's taking your hands and just sort of guiding Over something of his yeah uh, it, like for a while he won't do he say anything or make any noise he'll just let this control happen um and then then he will, if they sort of get to a, a, a finish or something like that, he'll start unclipping the the armor part of his. Mm -hmm. Like he's got like a like almost like a t-shirt or like a cloth garb underneath. He'll take that off and put it down, um, and he'll just carry on. Like he'll almost be trying to take the techniques they've just been doing and try and do it to his own as like a bit of practice. Yeah. So as the as the as you take it off, um, uh, Frost and Pistol begins just again, just hand on your sort of leading you through the things, and you begin focusing and almost like when you had started doing calm mm. for the first time, uh, you like and you're not sure when, but you look down and your hands don't have any other hands on them. You just seem to be doing it of your own accord, mm. but you just hear this song. Mm -hmm. um, and continue doing that for a period of time. Um, go back to the <laughs> next baby. <laughs> Don't split the party. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you have been sat with he who wanted longest, he who wanted longest. for a while. Okay. Um, hands in hand. He's taking them. He's looking through, and he just says. May I have a drop of your blood? Ah, uh, sure, I guess so. Um, and he just flicks your finger, <laughs> and you see just a point of it, just be almost like a snake fang, just appears almost like spectrally, and it pricks. Um, and he takes it and just starts inspecting it on his hand, and it, it becomes like globule and like. Gelatinous almost and starts just like floating in the air above it. Hey, someone's done a real number on you, lad. At one point, you were nearly infernal, but you have. Oh, you are, you are, you're a full elf. Uh, not one tree, though. Florentian and Fairmere, and that's a rare mix. Maybe that's why the, the infernal didn't take. Maybe. Oh. I think something took it from you. I know something the heart doesn't know! Oof! <laughs> 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 okay, cool. Um, <laughs> um, Florencia, Florencia, Florencia. Um, yeah, th 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 uh, my, my dad was part of a, a team, Phoenix of Florencia, a uh, hero team from years ago, apparently, or something. Hardness. Yeah, uh, hardness. Uh, the bastard. Oh. Bastard. Hey, 
Yeah, he wandered for a long time. He didn't really know where he come from. Hmm. Harkness, who was half Florentian, half Fenrir, and born out of wedlock. <sighs> that Harkness. I guess so. <laughs> Oh, are you taking notes? <laughs> so he survived. Yeah, he, he made a, there's some sort of deal going on. He, he's not he's alive, but he's not alive. He doesn't eat. He doesn't really need to sleep. He's he, but he's he's thousands of years old at this point. So he made a deal. He yeah. passed that deal on. So he he. Where's the infernal coming? I got it. my mum um, and my brother, so he's a lot less elfy and a lot more. For the benefit of listeners at home, <laughs> <laughs> Stephen did an impression, well, Han did an impression of Rothgon and did flapped his arms around and did a fang motion. <laughs> so he tried to override the curse with a worst curse of infernal. Your dad's an idiot. <laughs> Oh, oh, you'd think you'd live for that long, you wouldn't be an idiot. I think you find the longer you live, the more of an idiot you are. Yeah, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. But, ah, lad, this is a real <laughs> shit news for you. Oh, does it mean I'm double cursed? No, no, you, you just have the one. Oh, awesome. Which one? The, 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 the one we all share. Look, Vermarian. I mean, we don't like to call it that, I'll be honest, but... Yeah. Yeah, I guess. The Wither. And, uh... It's why you can't do any magic. Oh. And, I'll be honest, without Karel and innate magic, uh, it, uh, we'd probably be dead ourselves. So it's Corellin that's protecting us. Well, there's a lot of magic around that's protecting us, but you... You've outside of here... been a year? Oh. <laughs> so... If, if I go back to the, where I come from... Yeah, the curse will continue to take. It gives great physical feats for a while, uh, and then uh, I, I, um, let me guess, you, you were naturally good at, uh, at a lot of things when you were younger, like flipping and... Flipping, jumping, watching out for fireballs, yeah. with a brother like mine, you kind of got to. And it's eventually all of that, it's your years compounded, gives you a great boost for a bit and you'll start degrading. You'll see it. So, what, I stay here and live, or go back there and die? Are you scared of dying? No, it's just, I guess, like, I knew it was coming soon because I'm really stupid, but I didn't, <laughs> knowing the exact time is kind of, really takes the fun out of things, you know? I mean, most folks don't know the when and where, where they're going to die. At least you can decide the where. So, what's this Florencia blood you speak of? I mean, <laughs> fate's a really cruel bastard to you. I mean, they're the one that, 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 that gave it to us. Like us. We were at war for years, uh, and one of ours left, took a lot of our knowledge, and worked with them to eradicate us. Only uh, one of our lot, uh, a brilliant, brilliant wizard called Kranis. Uh, <laughs> He he, Fuck. he selflessly sought immortality to keep his people alive. <laughs> and that's 
we were going to leave no! today. No! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I love it. That, oh. oh, man. Um, Krennis is the good guy? Are we the bad guy? <laughs> or is he? Is no one good? So, if Krennis is one of Lahan's elves, no! Oh, oh, oh no! I'm worried um, the Emperor's coming towards me! If, <laughs> if you've enjoyed watching <laughs> us lose our shit, um, please like, rate, and subscribe! Um, and comment your predictions for what the fuck is going on! <laughs> um, and as much as you probably want to come back for this next week, you can't. Um, <laughs> so, um, yes, fine. Due to um, various things going on, we will not be playing From the Ashes next week. However, we do have a plan to do a small one shot, which will be led by Paul. Um, it'll be from, is it Critit's new book? It's from Critit's new Taverns book, yes. From the new Taverns book, which we've um, obviously featured the Clam and Pearl earlier in the season of From the Ashes. It's, it's an excellent resource. It's it's yeah, we are book. going to now present something else from that book entirely up into this world a little bit but it'll be DM'd by Paul with a bunch of new character faces and possibly some different faces at the table as well mm. um, but then we are straight back to From the Ashes from the 8th that'll be yeah. yes yeah just for all of the extension of the crises but for, for the 8th if you're a twitch yeah if yeah. you're a twitch yeah. if you're a twitch, yeah. oh, if you're a twitch sorry um, yeah, yeah. Um, check out social media yeah. for the rest of it I have no idea I'm sorry I've just had some news okay <laughs> <laughs> Apologise because um, that was really like intense and beautiful, and uh, the madrigal's pure filth. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, I had trouble writing it because I was like, I can't put that. Yeah. So I apologise. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it. I'm really, I'm really. So exciting, isn't it? It's proper exciting. Well, fucking done. Yeah. Um. Please go out into the world and roll the damn dice. Oh god. <laughs> Corellan brings Torin back to the fold and they do some compromising. He's never met a paladin yet who's quite so patronizing. <laughs> it might be Frain's kink seeing Torin in pink. Makes her new wood harder. No. <laughs> if his armor's made of crystal, can we see his dragon garden? 